Yeah, Frankie, and Sunday is Mother's Day. Get this, a school in British Columbia recently decided not to celebrate Mother's or Father's Day in class. It certainly sparked debate across the country. Today, we're joined by mom and stepmom, Sarah Patterson, to weigh in on the issue. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You have a big brood. Seven children? Yes, seven children. Yep. Wow. So I have five stepkids and two with my husband. Okay, so, so let's talk about this controversy because, of course, there's much debate online. So what are people saying in general about the fact that there is this one school out west that has decided not to celebrate Mother or Father's Day. Yeah, you know what? There's two sides of it, really. Um, one side is for the kids, you know, would, who, who helps them put together these gifts. And the other side is about the people who don't have, you know, moms or dads or both, you know, the foster kids. And so it's really to try to appeal to some feelings, but mm -hmm. whose feelings is, is better sort of to sure. appeal to. Yeah. So what is your take then? Because it's true, there are so many children out there without a mom for whatever reason, health reasons, or if it's a single parent family or without a dad. So what is the right thing to do? You know, it's a very interesting topic. You know, I'm a mom and a stepmom, so it's a very unique situation. And it's really tricky to navigate. And there's no really right or wrong answer, in, in my opinion, but it's literally the life of a stepmom. It's mm. so hard uh, to know really what to do. Uh, and I, so you started a blog, yes. right, as a result, because you feel like you want other stepmoms, stepdads too, I imagine, to be able to get involved in the discourse. So how is it more of a challenge for you or is it more of a challenge for you come Mother's Day? Mother's Day can be very tough because you really don't know where to step. Um, in our household we celebrate Stepmother's Day. So uh, my husband had a stepmom and he loved and adored her yeah. and so uh, he thought it would ensure that all feelings um, are met and appreciated for whoever what their role is in the family mm -hmm. and you know step step parent mother whoever it is and there could always be somebody in your life right whether you want to celebrate let's say you only have your mom and you want to give her yeah. a father's day card because she's your everything or it could be an aunt or a great grandmother or an amazing neighbor who helps to watch or take over you whoever you have that kinship with yeah can be that person for that day so no one feels left out Yes, and I think it needs to be talked about. I think that it needs to be addressed. Um, and that's one of the things that I do in Social Stepmom is I address these tricky topics because it can be very challenging. What do you do? Are, am I doing the right thing as a stepmom? You know, what are other stepmoms doing? And nobody knows. Yeah. No it's, judging, just sharing. Yeah. So that's socialstepmom.com? Com, yes. And what do you find the response has been to that? Has it been like, this is a long overdue? Yes, it's been the most amazing experience ever. Um, because when I became a stepmom, I was thrown into it. And I actually had no idea what to do. And you're literally an insta mom. Like, I had five insta kids, which is a lot. Yeah. When you're a mom, you kind of go through that pregnancy. And then you have all these sort of resources that we don't have. Mm -hmm. And so there's mommy groups and bloggers and all kinds of stuff you can pull from. And there's no nothing for stepmoms. So I thought, well, why not create some sort of resource and a community that other stepmoms can rely and lean on. And then we can sort of meet and talk. Good for you. There was a void Thank there. You. Thank you for helping to fill it. And happy Mother's Day to you. Thank right you. now we're going to throw things over to our in-house resident mom, Amel.